G'day Ziggy D here and welcome back for another Fallout 4 guide. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to obtain and craft yourself a very powerful laser sniper rifle variant of Old Faithful. You can do this very early on in the game as well, so it's a great starter weapon on a new rifleman build, but it's so powerful that you'll probably be able to use it all the way through until you find a double shot legendary laser rifle. What really makes this weapon great though is that not only is it a kick-ass laser sniper rifle, but it's extremely versatile and that it also works very well in prolonged close to mid-range engagements. A fast fire rate and a very low recoil means that if you don't get the kill with the first shot, then you don't need to swap to another weapon to finish them off. A few quick zaps and the work is done. Like with this Assaultron here, with a bolt action sniper rifle I would have been in a lot more trouble after taking that first shot if it wasn't one shot. So this is a setup using Old Faithful, a unique laser pistol found in Diamond City. You'll get a quest marker to go to Diamond City very early in the game, so it's very easy to find. Though you will have to make the long trek through Boston City Central to get there. When you do get there, head straight forwards from the entrance and talk to the gun shop owner Arturo. He is guaranteed to sell Old Faithful for you, so you can get this as soon as you have enough caps. And speaking of caps, it is a little pricey, potentially 2,000 caps or more, so make sure to use your great mentats and wear your Sunday best to haggle with him. Of course, you can always use the vendor exploit to get it if you're not adverse to a little cheating. Once you have the crappy laser pistol version of Old Faithful, and let's face it, a laser pistol with the instigators mod, more damage on monster full life, is not really that good. Well... We can make this weapon very good though. Head to your weapon crafting bench of choice and add the following mods. A sniper barrel, you need science 1 for this, or an improved sniper barrel if you have science 2. Then an overcharged capacitor which takes science 3, but if you don't have science 3, just use the best capacitor you can build. A fine tuned beam focuser is also quite nice, which requires science 2. And for the stock, anything above a full stock is fine. Though, to be honest, as long as you have the full stock itself, it doesn't really make too much more of a difference, the upgrades, so these are kind of a lower priority. And of course, a scope of your choosing. Regular, recon or night vision are all fine. I like going with short or medium scopes though on the laser rifles as they have low recoil and can be used on close enemies. Having a short or a medium scope will give you more of a field of view at a small cost of very long range shooting. Once you're done with your modding you'll end up with an absolute beast of a laser sniper. Though of course with any good sniper build you're going to need some perks in Rifleman and Ninja if you really want to deal some serious damage. And just how much damage can you do with this thing? For me, with Old Faithful modded out, and with the Rifleman, Bloody Mess, and Lone Wanderer perks, I have 186 damage per shot. With the double damage on the first hit, that goes to 372. And then with a sneak attack bonus stacking the ninja perk, that brings us up to 1302 damage in the first shot. So it's not quite as insane single shot damage as my instigator's 50 cal sniper rifle which does a bit over 2500 damage, but it's still very impressive. You can check out that sniper in the linked video by the way. So although it's not the maximum single target damage you can possibly get on a sniper rifle, it's still very good and especially since you can follow up with a bunch more shots in rapid succession without any real recoil makes this a very solid rifle. Overall you're left with a very powerful and versatile weapon that you can get for yourself guaranteed with only a modest investment. You don't have to rely on any random legendary drops or anything like that. This is definitely something to pick up early in any sniper, rifleman or energy weapons build for sure. Hope you guys have found this guide helpful. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel to catch some more Fallout 4 videos. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.